I netted that fish when Dad caught it, that big brown up on the wall there. Yeah, that's got the fly that I caught it on in the mouth. That was when I was nine. That's a big nail. Grandparents were living here in the summer. And Dad and I would came down on a Wednesday to fish because we're super big into night fishing at the time. Yeah. Always night fishing. Yep. 11 p.m. He caught it right up there past the willow tree on the right. I When I first hooked it, I thought, oh, maybe I've got a, a branch that's growing underwater because it wasn't moving. Finally, I, I felt we got a fish. This is a big fish, but I think we fought it for, I don't know, a half hour. Uh, my parents were in here, not hearing us, and John had the net. Finally, we landed that thing. It was just the most exciting. That's the biggest fish I ever caught in here. Yep. Paul was going, my grandfather was going absolutely nuts. Yeah. Place in West Duluth, that guy was the best. He said, oh, I'll have fun you about anymore. Bring him over. He said, I'll put him in my display case. He said, that's a beautiful brown. Let's go get another one. I used to catch five to eight five pounders a, a summer. Yeah. And all kinds of threes. All kinds of We caught three, there was three pounders in here, and uh, we were catching them in the day, and I've got pictures of John I'll carry in a fish, and he's still in diapers, and he's holding on to a three pound brown. It's actually my Venmo, face. Yeah. it's my Venmo profile picture. This structure was built in 1897. It was used as a logging camp. Main room here, and the side room, we loaded with bunk beds. They probably slept uh, maybe 12 loggers in here. Outside, where the garage is now, was a cook shanty, where they all went and ate breakfast and then went into the woods. 1925, the place came up for sale, and my grandfather just had an eye for it. He came down and looked, and he saw the wilderness, and, and he said, um, I'm going to buy this place. And it was, like, very cheap. And so he bought like 500 acres. I think it was around 300 bucks. And when I was a kid, my brothers and sisters and I and my mom and dad, we would pack everything in here. And, uh, it was filled with bugs and mosquitoes and wood ticks, and, but we loved it. So the family, this is two generations ago, spent a great deal of time on the Brule, and that's kind of where everybody became, for lack of a better term, addicted to fly fishing. And, uh, his grandfather, um, had a place on the Brule and then saw this and, and here we've been ever since. The brook trout are very special up here. They're Ice Age brookies. Uh, the water temp here is about between 40 and 42. It's consistent year round. The water is so cold in different spots. It's just perfect for the brook trout. And as a matter of fact, on hot days, they hang out in the coldest spots and I happen to know where they are. My kids were young, they're 40 and 37 now. They got to experience the same thing I did as a kid. Just little tykes carrying big fish and learning how to set traps. And so I got to go through that again with them and um, it's been great. And now they're kids. <laughs> so everyone gets to experience what we affectionately call the hunt check. It means everything. I mean, it's this is where I grew up. This is where all of my childhood met Ray's honor. Um, so everything about being out here is nostalgic in a way, and it's all happy memories, you know? You're always thinking about that one day 20 years ago where it was just a cast like this that I caught 25 incher, or uh, my grandfather caught a uh, 28 incher, something like that. So, you know, it's hard to be in a bad mood when you're here. It really is. 
got one, Jack. I got one. When you really sit back and think about the grand scheme of things and all the people in the world, to be able to have a place like this is more than fortunate. And it's really, really fortunate that my family was able to keep it together and in the family for the last almost 80 years now. I realized later in life about how great it was for me to have had that experience. And it's, so I wanted to uh, have them uh, embark upon the same type of of upbringing and uh, just because I know and I've seen it. My kids growing up, the love and the, the care and the attention and the, the feeling they have when they walk into this place or just you come into the driveway, it's like, whew, I'm, I'm, it's like I'm home.